published 0642 EDT, the 3rd of September 2017, updated 0642 EDT, the 3rd of September 2017, Stephen Ward has challenged the Republic of Ireland to call upon the spirit of the shock victory over Germany to reignite the World Cup qualifying campaign. Martin O'Neill's men face Group D leaders Serbia at the Aviva Stadium on Tuesday night having allowed them to ease two points clear as a result of the Republic's 11 draw in Georgia and the Serbs' 30 win over Moldova on Saturday. With Wales having reduced the gap to second place Ireland to two points courtesy of the home victory over Austria, the group is reaching crunch time with just three games each remaining. Stephen Ward and his Republic of Ireland teammates drew 11 with Georgia on Saturday night however O'Neill's side found itself in a significantly less advantageous position in the Euro 2016 campaign in October 2015 as reigning world champions Germany arrived in Dublin for the penultimate round of fixtures and to the surprise of almost everyone, left on the wrong end of a 10 scoreline and full-back Ward is hoping for more of the same. He said listen, we need a big night on Tuesday. We need to put a performance in for the fans and make it a big atmosphere against a good Serbian side. It's still in our hands if we win three out of three games now, we'll qualify. We have been in situations before where we have had to bounce back, so hopefully we can all recover quickly, get the bodies right and put in a much better performance on Tuesday. That famous win over Germany ultimately secured a playoff berth for Wireland as they mounted an irresistible late surge, and it seems likely that will be the best for which they can hope this time around if they do not beat Serbia. Ward has urged his teammates to put a performance in for the fans against Serbia Saturday's draw in Tbilisi the first time the Republic have not beaten Georgia in the nine meetings to date was disappointing for many reasons, none more so than the fact that they took a fourth-minute lead through central defender Shane Duffy's first senior international goal. However, not only did they not build upon it, but turned in so abject a first-half display that Valeric Hazrashvili's 34-the-minute equaliser was the least the Georgians deserved on a night when they played by far the better technical football. The visitors improved after the break and James McLean and substitute Aidan McGeady both had late chances to win it as Vladimir Weissman tired, but justice would hardly have been served had either of them done so. Ask what O'Neill's post-match assessment had been, Ward said look, he was disappointed with the performance, especially in the first half. Martin O'Neill was disappointed with the performance against Georgia, admits Ward to get a lead so early was brilliant for us and it was disappointing that we couldn't hang on to that. But they're a good side. They have proved they can take points off teams and give teams a tough run in the games. The second half was improved and we had three good chances to win the game, but unfortunately one just didnt drop in for us. But he O'Neill knows we have got a big game on Tuesday and he wants us to get our heads around that. We have had some big nights at the Aviva recently and we need to have another one. Should Ireland turn in as poor display against Serbia, they are likely to be punished more ruthlessly, and Ward knows victory is really the only option. He said that's common knowledge. We have given them a little bit of breathing space but that can be overturned on Tuesday with a win for us and that's what we need to look to do.